And so now, we'll be solving more example problems. Now, for the first one, we have a circular hole that is to be punched in a plate that has a shear strength of 40 KSI and then the working compressive stress for the punch is 50 KSI. Now, we have two considerations here. We have a limitation for shear strength and then we also have a limitation for the working compressive stress. Now, recall that this is part of actual stress. And so the area that we'll be using for this one will be the perpendicular area. And then by contrast, for the shear strength, we'll be using the parallel area. Now first, we have to compute the maximum thickness of a plate in which a hole 2.5 inches in diameter can be punched. And so this is essentially what we are looking for, this dimension. And then the hole that we are punching is 2.5 inches. So this is 2.5 inches. Now first, Let's make an equation that takes into account the shear strength. And so we have, based on shear, 40 KSI, which is just kilopounds per square inch, is equal to the force divided by the area. Now the area that we'll consider for shear is the parallel area, or simply this one colored in green. And so that's per meter times the thickness. And then our per meter is pi times d, and then multiplied by the thickness. However, notice that we have two unknowns, p and t. And so we are going to solve that using our other consideration, which is for the actual stress. And so based on compressive stress or actual stress, we have an allowable stress of 50 KSI. And so that's 50 kips per square inch. And then this is equal to the force divided by the area. However, the area that we'll consider here is the perpendicular area. And then since we have this force, then this is the perpendicular area. And then we can simply use the formula of the area of a circle for that. So that's pi d squared divided by 4. And then our diameter is 2.5 inches. And so let's just change this one. This is 2.5 inches. And then squared. And so notice that based on the actual stress, we can solve p. And so using our calculators, we have 50 times pi over 4 times 2.5 inches squared, that's equal to 245.44 kips. So this is 245.44 kips. And so substituting this one here, we can solve T. Let's plug this in, and then we will have 40 is equal to 245.44 kips divided by pi times 2.5 times the thickness, which is our unknown. And so solving T, we have 0 0.78 inches. And so for letter A, we have 0 0.781 inches. This is our answer. Now, for letter B, we still have the same considerations. However, what's given is the thickness. And then we are to determine the diameter of the smallest hole that can be punched. And so let's just remove this one. This is now our unknown. And then our thickness is 0 0.25 inches. And so let's just actually change the values here. Now, our thickness is 0 0.25 inches. And so this is 0.25. And then our unknown is already the diameter. And so let's just label this as D. And then this is also unknown. And then let's just move this. This is for letter A. Now notice that for this one, we have two unknowns for our two equations. However, we can express P in terms of the diameter. And so let's just actually use this one. And so our P will be multiplying this here. That will be 40 and then kips multiplied by pi times d times the thickness. And so we will use this value of p for our actual stress. And so this will be 50 kips per square inch is equal to 40 times pi times d and then times 0.25 inches divided by pi d squared over 4. And then our d here will cancel. And so this is d and we only have d here. And so using our calculators, we have... 50 is equal to 40 times pi times 0 0.25 divided by pi over 4 multiplied by d. And so solving d, we have 0 0.8 inches. So this is 0 0.8 inches. Now this is our answer.